get away from that compiler. We're not done yet. We haven't covered everything we need for making a game. Even though we now know how to use graphics, sound, input, and text, we also need to regulate frames per second. Why? Have you ever popped in an old PC game, only to find that it runs way too fast? Sonic 3 and Knuckles for PC, and I think the original Duke Nukem do that for me. We need to regulate the FPS using a timer so that it won't run at different speeds on different grades of computers. Unless you just want to spite people with better PCs than you and make it harder for them to play because their game will run too fast. What our timer will do is check the game timer against a maximum FPS, and if necessary, it will use the STL delay to throttle the program down to a normal speed. Before the game loop begins, declare an integer to hold what the time is. Inside our game loop, at the very beginning, we'll set current tick to STL get ticks, which sets it to what the current time is. After we handle input and updating, we will check to see if the amount of time that has elapsed is less than what we want, and use SDL delay if it is. Alrighty, next we're going to review enumerations and random numbers, which can both be really helpful when it comes to making games. Take care!